There's heat on Brady. He's got room this side. If he runs, he looks to the end zone. Almost picked off. And the Ticats turn it over. Morielli was in the end zone and unable to come up with it. Brady wasn't really on the money or close enough to his intended target there. John, the, the, plan, the play didn't look like it had a chance from the get-go. They just, when they dropped out of there, it looked like it was supposed to be a quick hitter. And you can see why Greg Marshall's upset. Glenn, I thought Brady had, had room to run. Well, Morielli's on the slot now. It looked like Brady wanted a quick hitter out there, but none of the receivers were facing Brady until about 15 yards down the field. Now, those are long routes when you're gambling on third and three. Third and three, go to five yards, turn around, and let's get the first down, move the sticks. That's why Greg Marshall was upset. Another turnover by the Tiger Cats. Casey Printers, nice fake. Cotolo the catch, sliding in. And he's in first down territory almost at about the 41. He needed the 42-yard line. Article in the province this week about the receiving core for the BC Lions. They talked about how unselfish this group is. And when you look at the stardom out there, you know, you, you wonder why you almost haven't heard one guy complaining he doesn't get the ball enough or whatever. There's only one football, but not from this group. It's a tight-knit group that work together. They're very competitive in practice as well. They try and work on one hand catches and they put together little competitions to make themselves better. This is second and two. Nice fake. And they'll get the first down. Jason Claremont, another of the gifted BC receivers. And Printer sold that fake beautifully. Yeah, he did. And you know, for the most part, the concern coming in for Wally Buono was whether or not Printer's toe would hang out throughout this game. And he has not had a whole lot of pressure on him. Joe Mumford was free there, but that was designed to let Mumford go free to open up. The big boys up front for the BC Lions done a nice job in this game from start to finish so far. 17-yard gain, first down Lions. Printers under the cover this time, and he'll get another first down. Lyle Green upended at the 35 of the Tiger Cats. And this looks a little too easy right now for this BC Lion offense. While well, you're seeing again protection up front, Angus Reed, the center, has done a nice job throughout this game of picking up that extra man. A lot of times the center's free. He chips one and then chips to the next. See Reed, he chipped off Adriano Belly, then went right to Johnny Scott. And that was the important block for KC Printers. If he doesn't get that, then Scott's in the passing lane. Another 18-yard gain. Printers, time again away from Montford. Throwing on the run behind the receiver. Catch made anyway. G. Roy Simon. This is number four. Oh, and Simon made that happen.